analysis of algorithms, asymptotic notation. We have already gone through a chapter on algorithms and we discussed about the best case and the worst case and the average case. Now we want to uh, express this concept using some mathematical functions. And with that we come to what is called the asymptotic notation to uh, express the complexity of a given algorithm. Now you may be wondering what is this big word called asymptote. Now we are deriving that the word asymptote from mathematics. So it's a curve uh, and it's a line, line that distance between the curve and the line approaches zero as it goes into infinity. We are not, uh, we are nothing, this curve has nothing to do with the, our concept here. But the concept is, uh, the, what is the limiting behavior of a given uh, algorithm which is expressed in terms of a function, mathematical function. So that is the thing. Here we know the asymptote, though if that line goes like that, it doesn't uh, intersect the x-axis or here the y-axis. It comes closer, asymptote. Therefore, it is about the limiting behavior of a given algorithm. And that's why we call asymptotic analysis. Or in other words, what is the uh, how what is the time complexity is going to be uh, when the value of n the data input becomes a large amount so that is the question we are going to study in this chapter now for that we are using what is called the asymptotic notations so to represent we are represented by o notation called big o notation it is, you are using this omega, it's called omega notation. We'll be going through and, and understand this. And the third one is called theta notation. Using these three notations, we are trying to explain the complexity of a given algorithm. What is the upper bound? What is the lower bound? And what is the average working of a given algorithm? That is what we are going to study. Before we get into this uh, asymptotic notation and the functions related to that. Let us try to understand some functions because we are going to deal with various functions. Here you have a function, this number of n or data items and this is f of n is equal to n. That means for every, uh, if you, uh, this is 12, 50 here, the value of f of n also is going to be 50. In other words, you see that it is a linear equation this f of n is equal to n is a linear equation. Very important to understand. Linear equation is a gradual increase of linear equation. So that is linear trend. We consider this equation now. f of n is equal to log of n. That means as the value of n increases, the f of the, the value of the function becomes uh, equal to log of n. That means as you see here, initially there is sudden rise and then it goes on plateauing, plateauing. Very important because then we say, all right, this uh, function represents my algorithm. Initially, it takes much more time, but as it, the number of uh, n increases or number of data items or input size increases, it flattens, which is a good example for us and a, a good uh, uh, algorithm. So this is called the logarithmic increase. Here we have got one more equation. Uh, f of n is equal to n to the power 3 plus 5n plus 12, etc. And you know that is a polynomial equation. And here you have got how this polynomial, initially it is almost flat. But then as the value of n increases, it becomes, uh, there is a sharp increase in the value of f of n. So this is also a very important equation. Similar equation, maybe n to the power 2 or power 3. or It's a polynomial equation. And therefore, this is uh, how we can uh, represent uh, the working of a given uh, algorithm. Then we come to one more equation. F of n is equal to 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n it is called the exponential equation. And as you see here, again here, initially the value of f of n is less. But as the number increases, it suddenly shoots up. See from where? 
so it is here only maybe uh, 100 or 200 it has become some 10 lakhs here when the value of n it has gone become almost about 19 or 20 so therefore so in other words we are going to express the behavior or the complexity of given algorithms in terms of these functions and this is, that is called the asymptotic analysis so here you have got so if it is of the order of 1 it is flat if it is a log n as you see it increases a little then flattens uh, this is linear uh, order of uh, n so order of n means the uh, function of g of n has n value this is order of n log n it becomes as you see as you see initially it is less but then it becomes more than uh, n then this is order of x squared this is x to the power 3 big o we record x to the, to the power x and n factorial so these are not good algorithm because they are highly uh, um, deviating so but uh, we would like to have an algorithm uh, with the either or zero order of 1 means it is uh, best case here as far as possible log n or n or n squared n squared also or n log n so these are the best algorithm for us the complexity the complexity is in this order for the input size of n so simply as you say o order of 1 is equal to best order of log n is equal to good this is fair n log n is not as good but these are all worst cases worst cases which we should uh, avoid so as far as possible convert that algorithm into a well, better algorithm which has this kind of complexity of the order of n log n log n n and log n and 1 etc so here you have got this is the series we are going to deal with series of functions all of them represent f of n or g of n so this order of 1 order of uh, log n order of uh, square root of n order of n n log n n squared etc etc going up to n to the power n and n factorial so these are various uh, alg functions which could be used to represent the time complexity so we are using these function to represent represent the time complexity of a given algorithm so what are the notations we use to represent the time complexity as i've already mentioned we are going to use o this big o notation this that to represent the upper bound and uh, omega notation uh, to represent the lower bound and theta notation to represent average bound so upper bound is always represented by big o of n or uh, g of n then uh, omega of g of n g of n is a function f of n is a regular function then g of n is a function in terms of my complexity and theta is the uh, gives us the average bound average bound so let us come into now each of these uh, uh, asymptotic notations first we will deal with big o notation big o notation as you see here there is a f of n that is function which represents our algorithm so we have to this is g of n c multiplied by g of n this is the g of n is going to be uh, the function which represents the complexity of my uh, uh, algorithm and this is called uh, it is going to be big o of gn so here you have got therefore it gives the upper bound as you see this is the function it is above the above, above a function therefore it gives us the upper bound so in other words we say the complexity of fn is equal to big o of gn if there exists a positive constant c positive constant c and n0 here n0 such that f of n is greater than equal to 0 but less than equal to c into g of n for all values of n greater than n0 so for all values greater than n0 so g of n is c into g of n is going to be more than f of n f of n and so this is in other words g of n 
gives us the upper bound. You multiply with any constant, it should give you the upper bound and then the, that is called the big, uh, uh, big O of G of N. So let us take one example. Consider a function f of n is equal to 3n plus 5 representing some uh, uh, one algorithm, an algorithm. So we have got, uh, we have expressing this algorithm in terms of a f equation uh, that is function 3n plus 5. So let us say so that is less than 10n, 10n. So and that is less than equal to 10 n is what so this n is a function so i say that is g of n so then i say order of n big omega of n for example we'll take so suppose n is equal to 1 so what is the value of this is going to be uh, uh, 10 n so it is going to be 10 into 1 is equal to 10 10 10 is equal to 1 is equal to 10 so which is greater than f of n so for value of n this is going to be 8 Therefore, my big O of n represents, therefore, this is C, this is C into big O of n, G of n. So, C into G of, this is G of n. So, therefore, the, this O n, big O of n represents the upper bound of my uh, upper bound of complexity. So upper bound function, therefore the upper bound function is n and the complexity is big O of n, big O of n. So that is what, uh, how we represent therefore, uh, or how we find out the uh, upper bound function to represent the complexity of this equation. So if, you know, here I've got the whole series is here, as you see, so this this gives the upper, here n is there, big O of n we said. Therefore, all these are upper bounds and all these are lower bounds. Therefore, now, hence for f of n equal to 3n plus 1, it is also of the order of n, big O of n. It is also big O of n log n. It is also big O of n squared, etc., etc. All this could be, but not big O of log n because you see it is a lower bound so it has to be upper bound so all these are upper bound equation but we don't represent with all these equations we select that equation which is very much closer to my f of n therefore we select the nearest one the closest one to f of n so in this case we select therefore uh, O G of n therefore it is of the order of n c into order of n or c into g of n it should be so therefore this is how we explain so here we have now the, these give these functions give us the lower bound this gives us the average bound and all these equations give the upper bound upper bound so with that we come to the second notation what is called the omega notation, omega of g of n. So just as big O notation provides an asymptotic upper bound on a function, for a function, big omega gives us the asymptotic lower bound. As you see here, earlier it was c into g of n upper. Now we have got c into g of n lower bound. It gives us the lower bound. So therefore, the complexity of L, f of n is equal to omega of g of n if there exists a positive constant c and n0 c and n0 such that c into g of n c into g of n is less than equal to f of n but it is greater than 0 so this is very important it is less than equal to f of n as you see it is less than equal to f of n starting from here it has gone therefore this is the minimum value for uh, n, n, from n, starting from n0 onwards, it gives us the lower bound. So it, again, here in this uh, equations, you see 1 log n. So these are the lower bounds, lower bounds. So again, we suppose you take the same equation, f of n, etc. As you see, 
it is greater than 1n. We earlier we said it uh, that is less than 10n, but it is greater than 1n. Greater than 1n. So here 1 becomes my c, n becomes g of n, and this is the f of n. Therefore, f of n also equal to omega of n. In other words, it gives us the lower bound of complexity. So it is also uh, omega of log n because it is less than that or also omega of uh, square root of n and square root of n and then but not uh, n log n because at this, this, these are all upper bound. Therefore, omega of this equation, omega, big omega of this equation is equal to g of n, g of n or n. That is my uh, equation. With that, we come to the last notation. There are other notations, small o, small theta, etc. We are not going to deal with those. So we are going to take only big O, big omega and big uh, theta notations. Now, the theta notation. The theta notation bounds a function from above and below. In other words, it gives us the exact asymptotic behavior. As you see here, f of n is there. There is g of n. If you suppose you multiply by c, uh, c1, it gives you the lower bound. If you multiply it by c2, it gives you the upper bound. Therefore, this is the function. So, uh, complexity of f of n is equal to theta of g of n if and only if there exists a pause, there exists positive constant c1 and c2 and n0 here such that c1 into g of n is less than or equal to f of n but it is uh, f of n is uh, less than c2 into g n less than or equal to c2 into g g of n so these are therefore upper bound and the lower bound you know theta notation gives us the exact asymptotic behavior of a given algorithm so these are the three therefore alg uh, asymptotic notations big omega big uh, uh, big o big omega and uh, big uh, uh, theta so big o would give us the upper bound big omega gives us the lower bound and uh, big theta will give us the exact uh, bound uh, or the behavior of a given algorithm so understand this but we will be dealing mostly with the big o notation to find out the complexity of a given algorithm.